one station making history every day. Chicago, Chicago. Now, Jake Hartford. 89, 99. No, no, no. You know, I'm not even going to wait for a couple callers away to say you're stupid. But wait a minute. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, there you go. There you go. Here, Mr. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Five oh nine nine minutes past the hour, five o'clock. This is Jake Hartford, and I'm not wearing pants. Now, welcome, everybody. Just wanted to get your attention. Be here for the next three hours. I am very excited about today's show. I, I know you you say, "Gee, I say that all the time," but this time I really mean it. Uh, you know, healthcare has been the big issue this week. One of the one of the Supreme Court rulings, and with us at seven o'clock, the director of the Illinois Department of Public Health is going to go under the microscope, and I will put the questions toward at the director, and we are going to get some answers. And come Monday, there's going to be a new communications director because they're going to say, what, what, "Why did we do that show?" Why didn't you warn me about him? Yeah, that's that's what that's what's coming uh, at seven o'clock, coming your way. Our phone number, as always, five nine one eight nine zero zero. There is a, a lot of stuff in the news we're going to get to, including uh, the caller, uh, first caller of the show. Good morning, Paul. Well, good morning, Jake. Uh, I'm glad to hear that we got the no name polka starting the show again. How wonderful. Yeah, I don't know. We got the rights back to it or something. I, I'm, I'm not too sure how that works. Well, this is the way I like to start my Saturday, hearing the old no-name polka again. Very good. Thank you, Jake. Now, uh, I guess I missed some uh, bad storms there uh, last night. I'm still here in Wisconsin. I'm, I'm leaving uh, in about right after your show is over. But uh, I guess uh, some uh, big storms went through last night, huh? Some huge storms. Yeah. Terrible storms. Uh, so then... Uh, you know, an observation, you know, I, I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't realize that you were subbing for Bruce and Dan until Wednesday. So finally I got to hear you guys on Thursday right after the announcement about the uh, health uh, care issue. And, you know, it, it, I come to realize that I think the last time there was so much interest in the Supreme Court, you know, with uh, uh, Chief Justice Roberts uh, siding with Obamacare, I think the last time we had such interest in the Supreme Court was probably... In 1991, when uh, uh, nominee Clarence Thomas was up for review to become uh, uh, Supreme Court uh, Justice, and we had that uh, controversy with him and Anita Hill when she claimed that she said to him, 
uh, who put a pubic hair on my Coke? I was doing Saturday and Sunday midnights, overnights back then. Mm -hmm. And I remember coming in because there was a show on Saturday night that went right up to midnight. It was a live show here. And the lines, all the lines were just ringing. When I walked, when I, when I sat down, I just kept the same, you know, the same callers from the previous show. Mm -hmm. And when I left at four in the morning, they were still full. They and they all it, wanted to talk about the yeah on the cook and the same and about yeah about the hearings and the same thing Sunday night. Mm -hmm. I, I came in at, at midnight. They were full. You know, lines were full for five hours. And and when Donna Roma took over, they they were still there. Well, that's why I say you know the big controversy was uh, with, with Justice Roberts siding with. Uh, Barack Obama, and I thought, well, last time I heard this much controversy about the Supreme Court was back then in 1991 with Anita Hill and Clarence Thomas, and sure enough. Now, Jake, I, I gotta say, I kind of disappointed reading on uh, Robert Feeder's blog from yesterday. Uh, I did not see your name as one of the nominees for uh, the Radio Hall of Fame. You got passed over again! I know. Oh, you would think, you know, with Mr. Dumont having a show there at uh, the Big 89 WLS, you think he would uh, take care of his... Uh, fellow uh, broadcaster at the station apparently uh it doesn't work that way apparently now nah, you know you would think so but now that doesn't doesn't work that way and then uh well, just so you know gas you know thank you uh, president obama we might be going uh in another recession but it's down to 348 a gallon up here so uh, at least in some ways life is good i guess well if you're going to buy gas you better buy it this weekend because uh, the, the way the stock market rebounded yesterday, oh, yeah. the gas prices are going to start going up again. Yeah, well, look at the, uh, I think a barrel of uh, crude oil went up $7 yesterday. And then one final note, Jake, I can't wait to hear Joe Rosansky's sports report today. You know, if I was home watching the, uh, last night's uh, game with a team from the, uh, the south side, Chicago team from the south side, I would have turned it off after the first inning, uh, but apparently I would have missed uh, quite a lot of action there, so... Should be interesting talking with uh, Joe today. You know, if you give the results of that game, we don't have to have Joe on this oh, morning. No, 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 no. I want to take. I, I want to steal uh, Joe's thunder, so I'll let him uh, have his say there. All right, thank you, thank you, Paul. Have All a right, safe Jay, trip have back. A good weekend. Bye bye. Yeah, steal his thunder. Uh, sad news: we have a death to report. Barry Becker, B E C H E R. You know who he is. He's the man who introduced America to Ginzu knives. And and because of that, the, he, he started the whole inf infomercial deal. He passed away at the age of 71. But wait, there's more. His family uh, plans to enter his remains in uh, his treasured smoke ashtray. All right, I'm done now with that. Where would we be without infomercials, huh? You know, you people, you should be fortunate you have me here this morning. Last night, I was sleeping. Which is what I usually do before I come here. I know you're saying, boy, that's, that's odd, Jake, you were sleeping. No, I, I, I went to sleep about 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock... I was awoken from my slumber by what I thought was a freight train coming through the house. Freight train coming through the bedroom. To, uh, it was the worst storm I have ever been through. And our younger son was home. My wife was home. And it was raining so hard. The rain was coming in sideways. The rain was coming through the house. My wife still doesn't figure out where the rain was coming from. Out in the patio, the whole the whole deal it was just it was just coming in. So as, as she and our younger son were scurrying around with uh, with uh, with with towels, trying to keep the water out, I somehow, when the house was shaking. I just uh, twisted my neck funny. <laughs> I just, I know. In, injured in bed. That's the type of injury in bed you want. But I, I took a look outside because she told me the damage. We have uh, 
our patio set is just, it, it's all over the place. It is, there's pieces missing, broken glass from the, from the table. Say goodbye to that. And my beloved gas grill with the, with the WLS logo on it that I got for my 20th anniversary, 20th anniversary here is missing. It flew away somewhere. And when I called ComEd last night, they said, you are one of 142 people. They're very cheery. I, don't know where, I think there's one woman who does all these things. Because it's not, all these different things, they all sound the same. It's the same woman. And she's very cheery. And when this woman dies, I don't know what people are going to do. Because I'm used to that voice. You call the airlines, you call, they're, they're, it's all the same woman. So this morning, the power was still out when I was leaving. So I called to see where we were. And it's an autom- it was an automated thing. And it was still at 142. And I thought, God, there's got to be more than that. I go outside. The whole, the whole Shangri Jake area is just pitch black. Everything is black. And I called one of our esteemed staff members here. I said, could you find out what's really going on? Because... This 142 really is extending into blackness for as far as I could see. Traffic lights were out. And then it turned out there were like 50,000 people without power in that whole area. And as I'm driving, there's like, here's the tip. If you're looking for some good lawn furniture, you may want to head out the lockport. Because there was there were chairs and stuff all over the place, all over the main roads. That flew. That apparently, that apparently got picked up by the storm and flew all over the place. If you see the grill with the big eighty nine on the side, that's mine. Bring that home, will you? <laughs> but anything else you find is yours. So it's uh, it was a heck of a storm. I there there was a storm once some years ago. They end up calling Row Show. It was like pitch black. It was like three in the afternoon. It was the sky was as I've never seen the sky as black as it was that day. It wasn't wasn't nearly as bad as the storm last night. There was hail, there was wind, there was rain, and then eventually loss of power. So Miss Dill Pickles at home uh, doing what Miss Dill Pickle does, waiting for me to come home to clean up the glass. And the dogs didn't run away. I thought they would have run away this time. Anyway, 591-8900 is the phone number. A lot we're going to get to. It's 519 right here on 89WLS.